Like I tell people like, literally, this is like years in the making. David White Jr. is weeks away from the NFL draft and he's back in the weight room at Westside High School. A, a sort of full circle moment. I've definitely grown into my full self. Now White's changed a lot since his days on the field for the Wolverines. Since high school, he's gained about 40 pounds and he's changed his game a lot. Well, now I'm fully into my frame of my body, so I'm able to really do about anything you can really imagine at my position. And um, I'm just way more dominant, you feel me? That work's paying off as White finds himself on the brink of starting an NFL career. White played college football at Valdosta State before transferring to Western Carolina for his last two seasons. And he's turned some heads at the Hula Bowl and East-West Shrine game as his play at the postseason bowls has really created some buzz. Um, but th both of those experiences were really, um, it was powerful, and I say powerful in the sense of seeing what it was like actually being on the next level. If White hears his name called during the draft, he'll be the first player ever from Westside High School to be drafted. Being able to be in this position and kind of show people that, you know, it's possible, and if you work the right way, that things can, you know, ultimately happen for you. Now, you know, the NFL draft is a three-day waiting game. White won't know when his name will be called, but he knows one thing for certain. Um, I mean, I know I'll cry for sure, um, but it's like after that moment, I'll be so excited just to get back to work. I'll be so excited to uh, go compete again. Of course, there are 32 teams in the NFL. White would love to put on a jersey of any franchise, but if it was a Jaguars jersey, that would definitely be a special opportunity. I know you'll look forward to any team, but would it be cool if you were on the hometown team at all? Oh, would it be? <laughs> would it be, man? I'll be able to be home and go out there and play with Trevor Lawrence and all. So um, I feel like the Jaguars are, you know, doing the thing where they're trying to change the culture and get some great things done for the city also. So if I had an opportunity to be a part of that, man, uh, I wouldn't trade it. You know what I mean? So.